Hello, friends. This is a real story. Friends, this is the story of April 1936, when the students of Strand Grammar School of England had holidays for Easter Festival. A 27-year-old German teacher, Kahana 30, also taught in the same school. He, along with 27 of his students, decided to spend these holidays in Germany. For so many days, I wanted to go on a hiking trip with my children to the Black Forest, a mountain range in Germany. The age of these 27 students was 12 to 17 years. All these boys were very happy about this trip. Friends, 15th April 1936 was the day when this group of 28 people reached Germany from England. After two days at nine in the morning, they all set out towards a village named Tord Naubar. Actually, the place where these people were going to go was a snowpost hilly area. Out of these 27 students, only one or two boys were wearing warm clothes and shoes. While the rest of the boys were wearing summer clothes and sandals, that means none of them were ready for this type of hiking trip. Despite all these things, these boys kept agreeing with their teacher. When they all started the journey around nine in the morning, the manager of their hotel warned Kenneth about the weather. He said that for a few hours there is going to be heavy snowfall in this season, and it is not without danger for these people to travel on foot. But the teacher of these boys, Kanat, ignored all these things and moved ahead. Friends, during this journey all the children were very happy in the beginning. But suddenly the cold started increasing. All the boys present in the group were tired after walking for the next three hours. Within a few hours, snowfall and storm started increasing, and suddenly all these people lost their way. These people kept walking in the same circle for several hours. Karat was trying to move forward even in this bad weather, but the condition of the small boys present in this group started deteriorating. During this blizzard, this group met two men who used to cut wood. Friends, these men also advised Kahana to go back from there, but Kahana did not agree, Kahana believed, that they had to leave this place. Going back may prove more harmful. Well, Kenneth started realizing that now these boys need some safe place, otherwise something bad can happen. Kenneth started moving towards a village hostel after seeing the M. Abe. It was certain that in this village they would definitely find some place to spend the night. But suddenly, Alex Stett, a 14-year-old boy from this group, started shivering badly due to cold. Friends, after four minutes, Jack's breathing stopped and this boy died. Went. Kanat and its students were transformed into sheer fear. They could not believe that Jack had died. At this time, it was seven o'clock in the evening, and at this very moment, everyone heard the sound of the church bells of Half Current Village. Kenneth sent two boys towards this church to call someone from this village for help. But friends, within a short time, three more children died in this winter. Twelve-year-old Francis, thirteen-year-old Peter, and fourteen-year-old Lyons. This one had been a honey sufferer. After some time, these children were dying, but after some time, many people from this village reached there to help them. Due to heavy snowfall, it was difficult to walk in this area, but the people of the village still could not reach them. But at the same time, the condition of another boy worsened, and another boy of this group died. The people of the village immediately took them all to the hospital, but by then this honey sufferer was killing five children of the school. However, all this happened due to the negligence of their teacher, Janak. This story had become famous all over the world at that time. This 87-year-old incident is still remembered in Brendia and Germany.